It's the E-Commerce Minute, your daily dose of e-commerce, tech, and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The E-Commerce Minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York, and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. This episode of the E-Commerce Minute is brought to you by SendPro Online from Pinny Bowes. SendPro Online is software that makes it easy to save time and money, no matter what you ship or mail. Print shipping labels and stamps right from your desk and access discounted rates. E-Commerce Minute listeners can try for free for 30 days and get a free 10-pound scale when you visit pb.com slash minute. That's pb.com slash minute. It's E-Commerce Minute episode 443. In today's episode, Square updates e-commerce tools for small business. Square Incorporated recently announced a retooling of its Square online store and Square for retail products. These tools allow merchants to add e-commerce to their sales operations, including tools like Instagram selling, shipping, and in-store pickup. The products are partly the result of the payment company's acquisition of Weebly last year. The company also said it's expanded features of its point-of-sale app, Square for Retail. Offline businesses who also want to sell online can now create a website, automatically connect their Square for Retail catalog to a Square online store, and, quote, sync their items, inventory prices, and data instantly across online and offline channels, end quote, and also allow customers to pick up online purchases in-store. It's crucial that sellers are able to reach their buyers on any channel, whether in person, online, or in apps, said David Rosenko, head of e-commerce at Square, in a statement. Quote, with the new Square online store, we're excited to integrate Weebly technology and bring the Square omni-channel experience to everything from retail businesses to restaurants, end quote. The move gets Square back into the game as rivals like Shopify also move to stoke their advantages. Shopify, as we reported on March 13, adjusted their API license to restrict partners from soliciting merchants to leave its platform. And news also recently broke that Shopify and email marketing platform MailChimp have axed their integration. It's getting crazy out there. It's getting crazy out there. It's getting crazy it, out there. Is it the the 2019 e-commerce wars? <laughs> it's the wars, the e-commerce wars. Shots uh, of well, I mean, for Square, that was kind of given. They bought Weebly, so that was coming. Sure. Um, Square as a retail thing is amazing. Um, they've done a really good job of helping little retailers become, you know, using their registers and, and having good tools for it. Um, I like it. Like, remember last year they, or this year, last year or this year, they were, they, that handheld thing. Yeah. That's kind of cool. Um, and this is just, just parlaying, you know, making a, a quick e commerce site online with everything is integrated. You know, if you're small boutique store, why not? Yeah. No, I'm, I'm big on Square. I love their products. I love their design. I love their gear. I thought the Weebly acquisition was pretty smart. And now we see what they're doing with it. Um, I mean, anything that gets people into the game easier, you know, obviously they're going to make, make the money from it, but Hey, you know what? I don't think there's anything easier than this. And I think their POS stuff is elegant. They have the ones now with the screens that are, that are front facing. You don't have to have the iPad thing going anymore where you turn it around and flip it around and all that stuff. Their stuff is really great. And like I said, this Weebly thing totally makes sense. We talked the other day, we were talking about where, what levels of platforms you have. So, You'd, I guess you would have Magento and those people up at the top, Shopify just below that, and then e Big Commerce. Uh, where do you think like Square fits in this? I think it's replacing what Shopify was in the beginning. That's that is a great analogy. I totally agree with that. Right, and then Len, and then I think what Mailchimp is going to do with Lemon Stand is the same thing. The beginnings of of those things. Yep. Right. Yep. So they'll become small. more more robust platforms, but for small to mids, as opposed to you know we're not, you know they they don't have any illusions of of handling millions of SKUs. They want to they want to get that guy who's got a coffee shop, a t-shirt shop, uh, you know jewelry things that you know under probably under a hundred SKUs or or somebody who has a, a clothing store or something like that. That just what it offers it offers a lot of convenience, and you don't have to sacrifice quality so it's not like you you hire your cousin to build your a woo commerce site you just go into this and you're, you're good to go yeah i mean it's 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 definitely it, you know i would bet on on, on square really well because it's all that's like the ease of use is is the the biggie right so you want for merchants you don't want to you know i think they're going after merchants that you know, can't hire a developer or anybody like that. So you have the small shops to do yeah. it. It's great. I'm, go I'm going to coin a phrase, DIY e-commerce, Tra mm. trademark 2019. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> 
Your trademark. I don't think that's it, sir. DIY e-commerce. Well, I mean, in essence, it is. What? <laughs> DIY your own podcast. Siri did not like that. Um, it is kind of DIY e-commerce because it's the, the person we're talking about who would use this is someone who's wearing all the hats and is trying to figure out, I need to get online. How the heck can I do this? I don't want to hire somebody. I can't afford yep. to hire somebody. Please help me. Please, Obi-Wan Kenobi, please send me a solution. And Square and what used to be Shopify were those solutions and i think square square is moving into that spot where shopify used to be so great analogy yep. we like to take a moment to tell you about our sponsor are you paying too much to send out packages and letters would it be nice to have a solution that can give you the lowest rates that would be with nice. Sem- that would be nice right <laughs> with semper online from pitney bills it's easy to save time and money no matter what you send from packages to overnight to letters what are the features are there features are they? Yes, of course there's features. As long as there's features and benefits. And benefits. Easily compare USPS, UPS, FedEx rates, all in one online tool. Also gain access to special USPS savings for letters and priority mail shipping. Print shipping labels and stamps from your own printer. Um, well, maybe you want to borrow your neighbor's printer, but fine. Track all your shipments and get email notifications when they arrive. Sounds expensive. Nah. Semper Online is only fourteen ninety nine a month, and for being our e commerce minute listeners, listeners, you can get a free thirty day trial to get started, plus a free ten pound scale to help you accurately weigh your packages. Visit pb.com slash minute to access this special offer. That's pb.com slash minute. Experience the better way to ship with free trial of Semper Online by Pitney Bowes. Very good, sir. Do we have any closing thoughts on this Square story? Um, I think I like that there's a lot more tools coming out for small businesses um, that can do their own things. I mean, not to be, you know, sort of that, but like lately we've been getting a lot of sort of people coming to us with small things and we just can't take it on. Like it's just, it's disservice to small businesses if mm-hmm. we took something on. Um, I just don't feel right, you know, charging when we need to do with a client it just makes no sense on both sides but the small tools um freelancers can use them and then kind of get into that business yep no it's a great stepping stone into bigger bigger Mm e-commerce do you think looking towards the future do you think shopify or even magento are looking this and going like do they see them in their rearview mirror or they're just kind of like let them have their niche I think it's eh, but they better they better they better be careful. They I mean, better pay attention. Yeah, I mean that's like people did not pay attention to Shopify for a while. That's exactly true. That's one hundred percent true. But we'll see how it goes. All right, very good. We'll keep an eye on Square, and that's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe, or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy.